EVs are all the rage these days, especially when they burst into flames. But have you ever wondered why that happens? I mean, everyone knows it's because of the lithium batteries, but specifically, why do EV lithium batteries tend to cause these nasty fires, whereas all your other gizmos with lithium type batteries don't? Hi, and welcome back to Scotty's Tech.info. I'm Scotty with my co-host Cletus the Tribble. So first of all, just a disclaimer, you don't have anything to worry about with EV fires. For example, a May 2023 report from Sweden says that cars with normal engines are 20 times more likely to burn than EVs. In Sweden itself in 2022, half the EV fires were in e-scooters and e-bikes. Also in 2022, according to CNN, the New York City Fire Department responded to over 200 e-scooter and e-bike fires. So, right, there's obviously nothing to worry about here. You are perfectly safe in your electric car. However, your children and elderly relatives on e-scooters and e-bikes, most likely they're going to burst into flames. So, nothing to worry about. Now that we've taken care of that, what about an actual answer to our question? First, electric vehicle batteries are high capacity. A Duracell alkaline battery in your flashlight gives a low amount of power, but over a very long time. In contrast, the, say, 75 kilowatt hour battery pack in your electric car provides tons and tons of power, but over a much shorter period of time. The average electric car battery can provide more power over one hour than the entire electrical hookup of your average American home. That's a lot of power. And that's part of the problem. When a battery pack is high energy density and it fails, they tend to fail rather spectacularly as all that stored up energy is released all at once. Second, most EV battery packs are made up of smaller cells similar to this one. If one cell overheats, ruptures, or is punctured, it can release lots of heat that heat can damage the cells around it. And then you get something called thermal runaway. And yes, that's exactly as bad as it sounds. It means big fire and possibly big kaboom. And third, when it comes to lithium battery packs in electric vehicles, there's obviously chemistry involved. For example, when you take lithium metal and put it in water, it bubbles and fizzes and releases, among other things, hydrogen gas. Remember the Hindenburg Zeppelin from 1936 Germany? Yeah, it was filled with flammable hydrogen, and it went up in flames. Oops. Some batteries, such as solid-state lithium metal anode batteries, are worse than others because of the materials and the way that they're made. So spraying an EV fire with water can actually make it worse, as that metal releases flammable gases, uh, short circuits are created, and all heck breaks loose. In fact, to put out an EV fire, firefighters often have to use up to 40 times more water than putting out a normal car fire. On a few occasions when a power wall or electric vehicle caught on fire, apparently Tesla's official response was to simply let it burn out over 24 hours. And we begin to understand why. EV battery fires can also spontaneously reignite even after the flames are extinguished, so it gets pretty tricky. So sometimes firefighters simply let the EV fire burn. They get people away to safety, they cordon off the area, and instead of trying to extinguish the fire, they just let it go. This also protects people from the toxic gases that result from EV fires such as carbon monoxide. So if you have an electric vehicle fire, what are you supposed to do? Well, first of all, don't use a normal class A, B, or C fire extinguisher because most likely it's not going to work. There are fire extinguishers known as class D extinguishers that are specifically designed for metal fires. Uh, however, the only one I could find was about $1,800. So if you know where I can find a class D fire extinguisher, let me know. So your best bet is to simply get yourself and your loved ones to safety away from the EV fire and contact the emergency services because those firefighters are going to have more knowledge and more equipment than you and I. In the meantime, we can just sit back and hope that the future of EV battery tech makes them safer and more fireproof. So, I'm curious, do you have your own EV fire story? Let me know in the comments below. 
For more techie tips, see scottystech.info. Thanks for watching. See you next time.